Hello, viewers. <laughs> this movie you're about to watch is a gospel movie. And I believe that it's going to bless your soul and minister life into your lives. But please, hold on a minute. Kindly subscribe to this channel. Click the notification bell, like and share. Do it now. Do it now, please. If you do that, you have encouraged us. Subscribe, like and share. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Happy watching. I was raised in a truly Christian home. My parents had only two of us. My younger brother came five years after me. My parents were well to do. My father was a consultant engineer and he executed so many contracts with the government during the relocation of the federal capital from Lagos to Abuja. I was a school teacher and we had a lot of fun with the two of them. I could remember how they used to take us for picnics and to amusement parks. But Joy, Joy has a slim body that breaks too soon because all this came to an end suddenly. Genesis was the accident my father had on his way to Abuja. He suffered a severe spinal cord injury. Madam, with the way things are, there is an urgent need for him to be flown abroad for a major operation. Oh. Yes. 
was very substantial and we could not raise it all alone well some of his friends and associates came to our rescue they supported us my mother sold everything my father had worked for I mean everything and so we were able to raise the money and his money for flights and operation was paid for. But everything we did was all in vain. Because my father didn't survive the operation. It was his body we went to receive at the airport. Shewa, I know the ugly incident is still fresh in your memory. But I want you to control your emotions and tell me exactly what happened. The untimely death of my father resulted in hardship for us all. There was no money or property to fall back on again. The only heritage my father fought hard to retain was her house. And constantly, my mother was affirming then that my father would not be pleased if he should hear that she sold the house to facilitate his trip to Israel. He became impoverished. When my mother braced up to the challenge. She resolved that none of us would fail in life because of father's demise. Well, she helped me. Because I was in essence when when all this happened. But one day something terrible happened. I was in the same room with my brother. And then he developed this terrible illness that took his life exactly two weeks after. Jesus, that must have been an attack. <laughs> exactly what people said. So, what happened thereafter? The entire hope of my mother was tied around my neck. She saw me as the only one who could bring joy and hope back to her. Despite the incident, I still managed to sit for my examination. <laughs> well, I, I passed all my papers in good grades at one sitting. And then, my mother decided to obtain the UTME form for me. But, I couldn't gain admission until after my third sitting when I passed with an aggregate score of 274 to study English language in the university. For my mother, it was a dream come true. But for me, it was a stepping stone that would change the course of my destiny forever. At that time, I had lost confidence in God. I stopped serving anything called Jesus. Because the question is, how could I serve that Jesus that would not save my father from that accident that, that claimed his life? And my brother from that untimely death? <laughs> God is unfair. Shewa, don't just conclude yet. God has a reason for everything. God? Did you say God? 
Chela, I know a lot of things are going through your mind now. But I want you to get yourself together and tell me exactly what happened to you when you got to the campus. Campus. As I said in the last class, the word language has lent itself to so many definitions from different linguists from all over the world based on their perspectives of the word. One of them is Edward Sapir. Edward Sapir. Sapir said, and I quote, language is purely human and non-instinctive method of communicating ideas, emotions, and desires by means of voluntarily produced symbols. <clears throat> now, these symbols are in the first instance auditory, and they are produced by the so-called organs of speech and of quotes <clears throat> now i explained to you again that these organs of speech are so called because they are not primarily meant for speech sounds you remember i told that in the last class yes sir okay good now you will all go now to the library and make sure that you read up some more other definitions on language by various linguists. Okay? Yes, sir. As a matter of fact, it is for your own good because you cannot avoid tactical questions from concepts like this in your forthcoming exams. You cannot avoid tactical questions. Okay? All right. Any questions before I leave this class for today? Any questions? Well, I take your silence to mean that there is no question and that you understood what I have taught today very clearly. Uh, if that be so, then we meet next week when we hope to continue our revision and probably conclude on the revisions for this course. See me in my office immediately. Yes, sir. You heard me clearly. Good day, class. Yes, sir. My young lady, you need not fret over anything as long as I am on this campus. Yes. You see, you are in the best department in this campus, and I am the best lecturer set to teach you those two courses that you are offering. Right? I believe you still remember those courses are three unit courses. Yes, sir. <laughs> you see, my dear, in the last 15 years since I have been in this campus and since I've been teaching in this institution, no student whatsoever has called an A in my course. Any of my courses, none. And do you know why? Not at all, sir. Very simple. A belongs to God, yes, and B belongs to me and I give it to whosoever I desire. Thank you.
<laughs> it, no matter how brilliant you are, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot score above 58% in both of my courses. And of course, that means you cannot score above a C. <laughs> I hope you are still following me. Yes, sir. Good. Now, you may ask why, why am I taking pains to explain all these facts to you? Well, I'm actually taking the pains to explain to you because you can actually score a B in my course. Yes, you can. What I'm simply driving at is that I want us to be in a relationship yes <laughs> so that we can always you know savour each others <laughs> so, I, I, I don't seem to quite understand the last part of your statement sir. well i bet you will never regret this in any way ah, excuse me sir <laughs> i don't expect this funny behavior from you hmm. sir you're a lecturer you are not only expected to teach us to pass in our chosen field, you are also expected to teach us morals and... We will stop all these philosophical teachings and let us face reality. The issue is that I love you. And you better comply because it's for your own good. I'm sorry sir, but you are wrong there. Mm -hmm. Maybe I need to categorically tell you now that I'm a Bible-believing Christian, brought up to be a lady of virtue, and constantly upholding the tenets of the scripture and obeying the perfect will of Jesus Christ without wavering. <laughs> we spell all those religious sentiments and sanctimonious pretensions that hold no water here in this office. I know so many ladies who came into this campus pretending that they were daughters of Zion only to discover at some point that they were really interested in the real thing. Oh? Eh? Are you any different? Of course, sir. I'm, I'm different. <laughs> different, my foot. As far as I am concerned, all ladies are the same. All ladies. Matter of fact, there is no proof whatsoever that you are the Christian you call yourself. Is it in your manner of dressing or the way you parade yourself around the campus see no one can fool me dr kabila no one sir i know why i do what i do and as a matter of fact religion is just a matter of the heart it has nothing to do with the facial appearance you give it whatever definition you like but I believe I've made myself clear enough. And I also believe I've made myself clear that I'm not interested in this impious relationship with you. <laughs> and if you would excuse me, I need to take my leave now. Oh? Now don't move an inch there or else you bite your fingers in regret later. You say whatever you like, but you can't stop me. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo! Young lady, you have just stepped on the tail of a cobra and be prepared fully for its venom! What is wrong? What is wrong with you? You've changed recently. It seems as if you've withdrawn into a shell. What is going on? Shewa. Shewa, are you ignoring me? What? What is it? Shewa, you better not kill yourself before your time. You're not the only one who has a problem. Everybody has one problem or the other. Really? You won't understand. Godia, you can't understand. How will I understand? When you don't talk to me anymore, you hardly tell me anything. 
You know the shower I used to know, for God's sake. Everybody on this block has been complaining about your irrational behavior. For which I do not even have any explanation for them every time they come to ask me. Shewa, I understand the fact that you're far away from home. But you need the love and care of people around you here. Shewa, you have to open up. You have to let me in. Talk to me. A problem shared is half solved. Okay. One of my lecturers is my problem. Which of them? Dr. Kabila. So, what does he want from you? He wants us to start seeing each other. And that's a surprise? Are you actually surprised? What do you mean? Well, Shewa, I'm sorry to say, but you are partly responsible for your current predicament. How do you mean? It seems as if you're not aware of the new environment you happen to find yourself in now. There are two types of students on this campus. Firstly, we have the students who already know God from whom? Or the ones who shortly after coming on campus, they meet or they are converted? Or the ones who before the end of their course here on campus, they, they, they get to know God? And after conversion, they attach themselves to a Christian fellowship. They try as much as possible to identify with God to be profitable to God and as a result God shields their lives they are soaked in the precious blood of Jesus they have like a mark and a seal on their lives already everybody knows their identity including those in the spirit world and the second set well the second group they are just the opposite of the first they are the ones who do not know Christ or if at all they know Christ they do not know him intimately that the ones you see around town or around the campus gallivanting, that the ones who have so much confidence in their academic prowess, they just simply forget the fact that their life, it was God who gave it to them in the first place. And to which of this group do I belong? Well, I can't answer that question for you, okay? I'm afraid you have to answer that by yourself. But, Shewa, sincerely speaking, if you ask me, your makeup. Your makeup. It's too much. <laughs> okay. Oh. So, is there anything wrong in looking good? I'm not saying there's anything wrong in looking good. All I'm saying is just because you want to look good, it doesn't mean you have to expose your body. <laughs> and then, the makeup is way, way, way too heavy. To me, I think it's just a deliberate attempt to attract all the sex hounds around. It doesn't mm. make sense. Anyway, okay. so I'm sure you do. Yeah. Okay. I would like to do a little bit of touch up Come before on. I go. Okay, you know what? I have very interesting gist to give you. Yeah. Let's go this way. Yeah. Promise me we'll go like this. Let's go like this. It's not bad. Okay. Now turn it down. Come on. Let's go. See, the one year that I've spent ahead of you in this campus, trust me, I've seen a lot of things. In fact, I even had a similar experience to what you're going through right now. Uh -uh. No. Are you saying that Dr. Kabila approached you? Oh, no, not Dr. Kabila. <laughs> Another lecturer entirely was taking us a general course. This lecturer tried everything possible to get to me. I mean, he literally tried everything possible to get to me. <sighs> You know, I now had to, it was when I went back home, I thought about it. I'm, I was trying to understand, trying to fast forward. Ah, why will a lecturer be after me? And that was when it dawned on me. Bam! That's what was responsible for all of this was my dressing, the heavy makeup, foul language was the order of the day, my behavior. Forget all these things you're saying now. I'm a changed person. <laughs> no, but really. Ah, no, it wasn't, it wasn't funny. 
I had to retrace my footsteps immediately. So, how did you get out of it? I rededicated my life to Christ. And I made a covenant with him never to leave him. And sincerely, Shewa, I wish that you would do the same. <laughs> okay, I think about it. You just think about it. Do it. Sure. <laughs> Please. Honestly, Honestly. What's up? <laughs> I later felt the need to re-examine my decision to be the best student in my course or my department. That night, Godia and I prayed and I decided to give Jesus another chance. But I knew I wasn't fully ready to submit to him. The experience lasted for just one week. And I soon put myself together to study hard for my examination and not to unduly draw necessary attention to myself. And since we soon finished all our lectures, there was little or no reason to see Dr. Kabila frequently. So what happened thereafter? I sat for my examination. I knew I was going to do well because the questions asked were so cheap. But unfortunately for me, my faith before I start reading for another set of exams. Eh, so, so how is it like? Not bad at all. Wow. I had two A's, four B's and two C's. It was a very As in... <laughs> I know that I just need to read a little bit more. I'm scrapping C and D and carry over for my life. Okay, can I quickly check my please? Oh yeah, should I wait for you? Yeah. If you don't mind. Okay, I'll be right here. Any more rights. The council has changed, she changed the results in the morning. And I've been asking you what the problem was, you refused to tell me. What is the matter with you? Why are you crying? <sighs> IJ. Yes? There's a serious problem. <sighs> hey. No? Could you believe I have six references? 
actually plan to leave this school with a first class or go steal a second class upper. Yeah, but you know it's not too late, right? Even if you don't end up with a first class, you can still read hard and come up with a second class upper. Why is this happening to me? Why? Why is it happening? I actually tried my little best to read for this examination. I sense foul play. Sincerely, eh, I saw your results. But I didn't want to believe that they belonged to you. I mean, I thought they belonged to one of those very young serious girls that work around the department. What do you possibly expect me to do now? <laughs> you are funny. So, I trying to tell me now that you do not know that Dr. Kabila had a hand in your poor performance. What? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is not possible. Come on, he can't do that. The two courses I passed are actually his. So? Uh, that leaves him out of the picture. Oh. So you think that the fact that he passed his courses doesn't mean that he couldn't have connived with other lecturers to deal ruthlessly with you? Sit down there. Mumu girl. Why are you calling me Mumu? Are you high? <laughs> Babe, these lecturers are smart. You offend one of them. Mm -hmm. They make you pass the course of that one that you offended. While the others join forces and mark you down in their own courses. What did they do that for? <laughs> to make your case hard to prove. <sighs> That way, you cannot even think of calling for your papers. And even if you do, there's a way they manipulate these things and still turn the tables against you. Many students have fallen prey to these wicked lecturers and have had their dreams of finishing with very, very good grades tarnished. Eh? Sadly, your case is one of them. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. Eh? So, what do I do? What do I do now? Eh? <laughs> Uh, there's only one language that this brute understand. Rough treatment. Don't worry about it. I'll speak to one of my older brothers in 300 level. She may be able to talk to Dr. Kabila on your behalf. You have an elder brother in this school? Uh, not elder brother like that, like that. But you understand with time, Sha. Okay, okay. That being said, oh yeah, come and wipe your plate. Wipe it by wipe your face. Yeah, fine girl, you can't afford to be walking around school looking like looking like this. If you don't get like eight references before, you will feel it at the bottom of your feet. Eh, shall I smile and let's go. What's all that one? Oh yeah, yeah, let's go. Dr. Kabila said he will not be coming for today's lecture. Okay. Ah. Well, we escaped today. He said we should go through our notes. And if we have any question, we should prepare it no against the next class. No question. Shewa. Dr. Kabila said you should see him in his office right now. What for? I don't know. Please don't go crazy now. That would be too deadly. Eh? Please. I, 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 <laughs> please. 
I know I have overstepped my boundary. And I don't even need a prophet to tell me that I have stepped on the tail of a scorpion. I know that. I do. But, but please, all I'm asking of you is, please understand. Just have mercy on me. Mm -hmm. Mercy. Oh my God. Sir, I don't seem to understand the meaning for all this rational behavior this early morning. Would you please tell me what the problem is, sir? I will tell you. But first, assure me that you will forgive me. Eh? Okay, so if, if after I've pardoned you, would you be nice enough to tell me what the problem is? Oh, uh, when we get to that place, then we will cross it. Meanwhile, I need your assurance now of your pardon. Okay, I forgive you. Mm. I pardon you. Mm. Even though I don't know why you need it. Please. Okay, thank you. Thank you, eh? Okay, would you be generous enough to tell me the reason for all this drama? Because I'm still in the dark. Where are you going? Where are you going now? Please, don't go now. Please, I'll tell you. Okay, I'll tell you. Shell. Now, please listen to me. Okay, I'm listening. Mm -hmm. You see, if the results on the departmental notice board had not, had, board had not been approved by the university senate, then I would have been able to do everything within my power to effect changes. And that would have meant that you wouldn't have had reference in any subject whatsoever. Yes, I could do that. But then, let me assure you, just go in and sit for those just exams, and I can assure you that you will not fail in any course. And I, as long as I am on this campus, you can assure yourself that you will not fail any exams. Okay, sir. If I get you right, are you saying that my last semester's results were manipulated? Ha! Me? Shewa. Shewa. You couldn't have been more correct. And you did it? Uh, it was not me. No, it was the devil. I, I, it was the devil. I must have gone off my mind I must have been crazy or something. Oh, so you are the devil who did it. <laughs> okay, okay. So what is the reason for this change of attitude? Because I don't know why you are apologizing for something that cannot be reversed. Oh, Shewa, Shewa, I'm in trouble. Please save me. <laughs> it's just that the devil took control of me. I didn't know what I was doing. You destroyed my life. Oh. <laughs> Godia, I have told you, stop bothering me about this whole thing. Don't worry. I can handle whatever is happen happening to me on this campus. And for your information, God is working things out for me. <laughs> Everything is working for my good, okay? So don't bother about me, all right? What's up now? Mirafa. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. She doesn't know things are working out for me. Oh, <laughs> we know they are tight. <laughs> so what's up now? Um, why did um, Dr. Kapila send for you? Hey, babe. Hmm? <laughs> to announce to me that he masterminded my failure last semester, just as you said it. <gasps> you don't say. Hmm. Honestly, you need to see how he was begging and apologizing. Oh. How he was just babbling and, and oh. stammering, oh. begging me for what he did to me. Hey! hey. Dr. Kapila, <laughs> even that man can calm down from his eye or to apologize. Honestly, babe. Hey. But something baffles me. I sense a fast place somewhere. A man in his right senses would not be talking like that. Hey, Shewa, I'm sorry. I won't do it again. He was even promising to restore my results. Oh. Ha! Um, Ijama, huh? I hope this has nothing to do with what you told me. Ijama, I'm talking to you. Babe, let's go inside. I do hope you have nothing to do with this Let one. us go inside. Okay. <laughs> Babe, you better talk to me. 
Hey, I'm sorry. Abba, it's okay. Wow. So, babe. Mm -hmm. I was asking you something, but I didn't answer me. Eh? I hope you have nothing to do with what I said. Okay. The only explanation I can give for this is maybe my brother has gone to report Dr. Kabila's randy behavior towards you to a higher authority. I mean, for him to have begged you and apologized and all that, it means that he has been put on check by someone that is above him. That's the only. Yeah, okay. I knew it. How could a man in his right senses <laughs> beg someone like me? And, and somebody like Dr. Kabila for all. I don't know. It's, it's funny. You really need to see his face. Very, very funny. <laughs> Oh, Dr. Kabi. But this is your brother. He must be very powerful. And you said he's a student. Uh -uh. What's now that one? What's that look on your face? He's a student. He's in the only level now, law department. You should even know himself. That guy I was talking to on my birthday, when you... It was you! When you came to alert me that the photographer had arrived or something very, very... You actually don't need to remind me, you know. <laughs> about your birthday because of course I cost everything that happened on that day. What's that one now? A few matter. I didn't mean to mention the I'm just trying to that guy Sha that I was talking to him. That's him. That's the guy. Yeah, but one more thing. This brother, is he your blood brother or just a distant relation? Shewa, he is my brother. Okay. Food, please. Food. Hey, of course I would like to meet him. At least to thank him for saving me from this Demon possessed oh. ledger. That's no problem. In fact, you'll be pleased to see yourself. Mm. Uh, food, though, I know. Food. Hold on. Anyway, use this to step down while I fix oh. something for us. Bless your heart. Ijama took me to see these brothers of hers the following day. The fellow I met on campus was a common face, but I couldn't have associated him with Ijama in any way. I knew the guy to be gentle. In fact, his nickname was Jide Gentle, even though his real name was Jide Awoniye. But one surprising thing was the strange, fearful feeling I had throughout the time I was in his room. Having no peace of mind, I had to quickly discharge myself on the pretext that I had an important assignment to attend to. You talked about having a strange feeling. And what was it all about? I don't know. But I felt God was wanting me to leave that place immediately for my own good. But I didn't grasp the full meaning then. So what happened thereafter? <sighs> I continued my academics without any fear of intimidation from any Randy lecturer. In fact, Dr. Kabila kept his distance from me. It felt so good to have my freedom back. But it didn't last long. Because I received another SMS that got me spinning. From another lecturer? Oh, no. From the last person I never thought of. Yeah, come in at your own risk. Hey, how are you doing? Got your SMS. It didn't make any sense to me. Oh, I didn't write in Spanish, did I? My message is clear and simple. And she wants us to be in a relationship? Um, yes, but um, I'm not particularly interested in a serious relationship. You see, I, I just want us to be bedmates, say for some three to four times. <laughs> um, you see, I, I'm typically not a guy who hangs on with a lady for so long. Did <laughs> a gentle or whatever your name is. Are you mad or something? Okay. No, okay. What, what exactly do you take me for? What do you take me for? A sex machine? Listen and listen good. If those two ears of yours are still functioning, 
I will never, ever humble myself to be molested in such an undignified manner by a shameless dog like you. Rubbish. Sure, but how can you be this daft? How could you have opened your mouth and insulted Jide Jentu just because he asked you out? Ijoma, hey, please, I'm begging you. <laughs> I have told you I don't want to have anything to do with either of you. And as soon as I change my mind, you'll be the first person to know. What is the matter with you? Eh? Is there anything new what he's asking you for? <laughs> I don't blame you. You don't even have any dignity to protect. And as for me, I'm not ready to, to trade my virginity and my virtue on the altar of ephemeral things. Really? Please, I would like to come down. I'm coming down with you. Um, because you, you, you know that this is a very serious matter. I'm coming down with you. Come down. And the next time you see your thoughtless brother, tell him I'm not for a shameless fellow like him. Mm. And if you would excuse me, I have better things to do than listen to this doctor. It's your mother I pity. Because as far as I'm concerned, it's too early for you to die. You heard me well. I don't understand what you're talking about. Who is killing who? See, Shewa, I love you very dearly. And if there's anything I wish for you, hurting you will not even be on the list at all. Actually, Judy and I are in no way related. Yeah. I met him during my diploma days on this campus. You remember I told you that um, I actually wanted to study law in the first instance, but I wasn't offered admission, so I had to use my um, UTME results and all. Okay, you have told me so many things including this. So what is special about this information anyway? Uh, let's just say I didn't tell you everything. I mean, there's no reason why I shouldn't have been offered an admission as at that time. <laughs> many lecturers promised that I was going to get a slot. As a matter of fact, I slept with no less than five of them in the process. They all played a fast one on me and it began to seem like I wasn't certain of getting an admission at that, at that point in time. So I quickly went to receipt for UTME and that was what I ended up using. Uh, good for you. Yeah, but I still don't see any connection here. Babe, I'm coming to that. Then say whatever you want to say because I'm losing my code. Cool. until one particular day when the lecturer told me that it wasn't likely that I was going to gain admission into the university. He didn't listen to me. He promised to be there anytime I had issues. We became really close because he played a very vital role in my gaining admission. And then um, it was through him that I met Kenny, his very good friend. Kenny liked me a lot and then Jide gave his approval so I gave him to Kenny's proposal. I had gone really far before I realized that Kenny was a cultist. Not long after, I found out that Jide himself was the number three man of their cult group. Just wait. Are you telling me that your so-called brother is a cultist? Yeah. I didn't get to know in time. And as I went, I did it, it been really foolish of me to have said no to the relationship. So I've just been holding up and managing the rough way I'm being treated. They might don't see you. No, there's no way out. Hey, Jemma. Do you know you're such a cruel person? So you knew all the while that Jide is a cultist and you asked me to say yes to his proposal. Oh, you're planning to sell me to him for whatever price he has paid you. You must have a low opinion of me. No, I, I promise I was only trying to help. I mean, I saw the rough way the, 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 the way Dr. Kabila was all over you. A terrible result and all. I was only trying to help. I did not know. Did you just say help? So, uh, if I knew that Jide was going to take any interest in you, I wouldn't have brought him into the issue. He has a fiancé, I'm wondering why... I'm sorry, okay? I, I didn't mean it like that. Okay. What do you want from me? 
good. Babe, this issue we are dealing with is a very delicate one. And we need to tread reasonably. You and I, eh, we just go and beg Jide. That guy must not get angry. And what if I still have some pride left in me? Ah! Shawa! <laughs> Many heads will roll, including yours and mine. All this and many more kept flooding my heart as I stood there that day. Some of our classmates, including myself, were called by the police for interrogation. But everything soon came to an end within three days. The police promised to do something to apprehend the killers of Ujama. But till now, I haven't heard anything. Maybe tomorrow they will come up with something. But Saturday, each of us killer or killers were still unidentified. I became terribly scared. I couldn't get the thought of Ijoma off my mind. I wonder too when my own heat will be. Oh, I was lost in the feelings of life Never knew I was killing time Did so many things that I regret now Dear at times I relent myself If only I could turn back the time Told myself while I was crying So many things have gone so wrong Oh It was like I've been dead before so much life came after the Lord Never felt so loved at all Till I opened the door to my God His love isn't far It's coming your way Cause it came my way Oh, His love isn't far It's coming your way Cause it came my way Oh, I was lost in the feelings of life Never knew I was killing time There's so many things that I regret now Every times I relent myself. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Really, I can't just believe this. I tried my best. I tried to counsel you. I tried to advise you. I told you to be careful of the kind of friends that you choose, but no, you won't listen. And now you have brought it up. What do you want me to do? What? What do you want me to do? I don't know. I don't know. I don't have an idea of what to do. Right now, I'm so confused. There's nobody to help. You're the only one I can talk to. Really? Just help me. Please. Really? So now, you, you actually think I know what to do? You actually think I know how to change anything? Please, I, I don't know what to say. Please! I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, fine. I thought of something. Okay. The only logical thing that comes to mind right now is for us to go see my fellowship president. He should have some spiritual insight into, into all of this. Alright, so let's go and see him now, right now. For God's sake. No, why can't we wait till tomorrow? Is there any reason we can't see him today? No, it's late already. For God's sake, look at the time. <laughs> okay, well, okay. His house is not too far. It's very close to the campus. We can go check him. Okay. Let's go. Are you not going to change? Oh my god. Okay.
Chidi Jensen. You know him? Me, <sighs> this bitch of a girl. I told you I wanted to have you as a bedmate. Only for some rounds. And you began to misyan, running your mouth anyhow. To the extent of coming to my room to rain abuses on me. Why do you do that? I was actually running really temptation with that apple. Oh, I was running really temptation with that apple. Unfortunately, fine. now you are so old. Too oh. old for my liking. Maybe, Maybe my guys here will find you interesting for the night. Uh, <laughs> Uncle? Uncle, it is you she wants. Yes. I want you for me to talk. Hey! Little angel. Why have you decided to leave your place of refuge? Only to anger with this demon! <laughs> well, what is good for the goose is good for the ganda. Unfortunately, you two shall be a partaker of tonight's exercise. You shall serve no. as a deterrent to all other ladies running their mouths anyhow. I'm, I'm sorry. Come on. I was lost in the feelings of life Never knew I was killing time Did so many things that I regret now There are times I relent myself If only I could turn back the time Told myself while I was crying So many things have gone so wrong Oh, oh It was like I've been dead before so much life came after the Lord Never felt so loved at all Till I opened the door to my God His love isn't far Hello babe, Alpha What happened? We didn't see you at the meeting yesterday uh, Anyway, the meeting continues today No mistakes Yes, Adijo Daughters of Jezebel, we are the goddesses of campus world. Daughters of Jezebel, for annihilation, seduction. Oppression, Oppression and revenge. These are sacred missions. Battles of Jezebel. Nothing is the same. Fear is a taboo. Rebellion, suffering, and spitting are God's words. As you all know, today marks the final right and formal absorption of two new converts into our society. Mercy, get set for the next assignment. Let all our potential goddesses sip from our calabash of fortune.
new goddesses. You are treading the path that leads to your promised land. Here, girls are separated from real ladies of strength. Today marks a new beginning in your life. You would also receive a congratulatory message from us after the expiration of these glorious rites. A very powerful inner caucus was inaugurated with the sole mission of discovering the goodness of GD Gentle and how it could be silenced for life. What? <laughs> so serious. Please come in. Good morning, sir. Well, yeah, good morning. Um, yes, how may I help you? You can see I'm very busy now. I came in respect of your son. My son? Yes, sir. Sayor? What's it? What happened? And who are you? I'm Miss Joy Okosha, one of the teachers in his school. Oh? So what happened? As I speak to you now, he's in the hospital. Hospital? What happened to him? Actually, this morning we took him to the sick bay. But considering... Sick bay? My son? What did you do to him? What, what, what happened? Tell me. Actually, as I was teaching them in the class this morning, he started running temperature. Oh. And in no time, he started vomiting and convulsing. My son? What did you give my son? What did he take? To the best of my knowledge, nobody gave him anything. Nobody. Oh. Oh. But then, how come you had to come all the way to give me this story? When you could have put it call through to me or probably called my wife? You have our lines in your files, don't you? That's correct, sir. But we have been trying to reach your line and that of your wife, but no one is reachable. What? My line? Yes. But I still called my wife a couple of moments ago. We oh. tried calling you, sir. Ah. Your proprietress? I told you we have been trying to reach you, sir. Yeah, uh, uh, hello, madam. Yes, what's the story I'm hearing about my boy? Where is he? What has happened? Dr. Camilla, I've been trying to get in touch with you for a while now. Um, um, did you see the stuff I sent to you? Yes, she's here with me. What happened to my son? Okay, I had to send her down. Um, seeing that, um, I couldn't get with, in touch with you or your wife because of network failure. Madam, what is the problem? What happened to my son? Um, all right. Um, please calm down. Um, all I can say for now is that his situation is critical. My God. So you have to get here as fast as you can make it. And please bring along your wife. All right? Is that bad? Now, which hospital is this? Um, Mahmoud Specialist Hospital at um, Awolowa Junction. Yeah, I know, I know the place. We've got to go now. All right. Let me get my key. Relax, Madam Proprietress. We have done well. We shall release you the moment we confirm our target safely arrives at the designated destination. You can go ahead and report to the police mm -hmm. thereafter. You tell us about that because we cannot be traced. But I counsel you tread softly if you still value the life yeah. of your husband mm -hmm. and your children. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Chewa. So, so you, so, so, so you are behind all this. Ah! Sayo. Ah, 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 ah. No, 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 they will kill you. They will kill you. Ah, show up, show up. Please. Please. <laughs> Dr. Kabila. So you could be this emotional about a little boy. Oh, show up. Please, I appeal to you. Please, please. Think of my family. <laughs> My wife, an only child. That's all I've got for 20 years of, of marriage. How would you imagine my, my wife, the mother, to come in, only to be told that the, that the child has disappeared and probably killed? I don't care, Dr. Kabila. Your son is not the only one who has a mother. You will pay dearly for this. But, but, but I, I apologized, but I apologized for everything I did, and I even tried to make amends, didn't I? Apology, my foot. The aftermath of that simple, unnoticeable act brought me to where I am today. You sent me into the mouth of a lion in the name of safety. You cheated me, Dr. Kabila. You ruined my life by the virtue of your position in the university. This is the time I've been waiting for to pass my verdict. Ah. 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 you have done some terrible, evil, and bad things, which probably I may not be able to undo. But then, but then, remember this. This, this, this blood, young blood, let him go, God, free, free. And if I have to do to die, that's the wages of my errors. Well, imagine a young blood. He's even free. Let him go, God, free. Unfortunately, your judgment starts with him. Eh? No, 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 no. Dr. Kabila, you brought this mishap on yourself and your family. Your death will serve as a deterrent to all lecturers who are still propagating the gospel of immorality and sexual harassment. Royal goddesses, let's stick up. The sudden disappearance of Dr. Kabila created a scene on campus and everywhere. And soon the police were brought in to do a thorough search of his possible whereabouts. And they swung into action immediately. It took them less than a week before they soon discovered his body. But all the efforts of the police were fruitless because they couldn't apprehend any of us. Well, maybe not immediately. The proprietors and some students were victims of interrogation and reporting at the police station. At least I was happy. Dr. Kabila died with his only son. This gave me an immeasurable joy. But deep down within me, I still felt so unfulfilled. Until Gide Gento paid with his own life. <laughs> Gide Gento. I became dead drunk for his blood. As far as I was concerned, he deserved to die. But Gide Gento was not an ordinary person. He was always on. Except for the time he has just had a canal knowledge of a lady. This was the findings that we got from the carcass that was set to carry out the assignment. The 
This is serious. But tell me, what then happened? There was an unresolved disagreement between GD Scouts group and a rival group. They thought they were responsible for GD's death. So they killed three of their members. And this caused a lot of problems in school. They closed our school for a short while. And so, I was forced to spend a compulsory holiday with my mother. Throughout the time that I was with her, I guess she noticed something strange about me. I could read this from her dominion. Yeah, but later called me to give me the news of my mother's death. Ever since the death of my dad and my brother, her health had not remained the same. She had been hypertensive. So, technically, I was responsible for her death. Oh, I was lost in the field of life. Never knew I was killed in time. So many things that I regret now. There are times I relent myself If only I could turn back the time Told myself while I was crying So many things have gone so wrong Oh, It was like I've been dead before So much 
Cause life came up to the Lord Never felt so loved at all Till I opened the door to my God His love isn't far It's coming your way Cause it came my way Oh, His love isn't far It's coming your way Cause it came my way Calm down, madam. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I want to tell you that this case is against the state. <sighs> and I want to assure you that justice will be served in this case. <laughs> what if you? I still insist I want to see that. I want to see the devil's incarnate. Calm down, madam. That ruined me. I, I understand. They ruined my life. Killed my husband. And my only child. My only child. <laughs> Calm down, mother. Calm down. <sighs> I want to assure you that justice will be meted out in this case. <sighs> okay? Where do I start from? Where do I start from? <laughs> Lord, the accused persons have pleaded guilty of a charge. I cannot plead that they be discharged and acquitted. This will amount to miscarriage of justice. Considering the gravity of the offenses committed, however, I humbly plead, my Lordship, that you tell us justice with mercy. The first accused person. Mercy Jonathan, <laughs> which was charged with a case of murder, alongside with other counts of other accused persons, is the only surviving child of our parents. We cannot turn back the hands of time. The dead is gone, and we can't bring back the dead to life. Do we need to take another life for the dead to come back? No, my lord. Therefore, I humbly plead that you temper justice with mercy. I rest my case. Does the prosecution counsel have anything to add before I deliver my judgment? Oh, yes, my lord. I am glad that my learned colleague has stated that the hand of time cannot be turned back. My lord, we stand on a common ground on that point, so I ask. Will remorse and sympathy bring back the life of the dead? Is the society just to overlook these terrible acts simply because the accused persons have owned up to their guilt? In line with the argument of my colleague, I am a believer in truth and mercy. But I must remind this honorable court that this is a court of law, not a religious gathering. He who has sinned should be punished so as to serve as a deterrent to others. My Lord, this is our plea. I rest my case. circumstances of this peculiar case, I must say that it is disheartening to see vibrant young girls like these ones engage in courtism, violence, murder, and other terrible acts. I found a first accused person Messi Jonathan, guilty of murder 
pursuant to section 319 subsection 1 of the criminal code act cap c28 lfn 2004 which states that subject to the provision of this section any man who commits the offense of murder shall be sentenced to death again i find mercy jonathan and others guilty of the second and the third uh, count charges of membership of an unlawful society and illegal possession of firearms first one to section 64 of the criminal code act cap c28 lfn 2004 and section 27 of the firearms act cap f28 lfn 2004 respectively i hereby sentence the first accused person to death by hanging for the offense of murder As for the other accused persons, Shewa Olumuyiwa, Musa Winberry, Chineye Ikechukwu, Aminat Hazan, Vera Oshone, Ife Dayo Uredu, Lambaba Haruna, and Taju Orilope, each of you is hereby sentenced to two years imprisonment for the offense of membership of an unlawful society. Eight years imprisonment for your involvement in the murder case and a fine of 100,000 Naira each for unlawful possession of firearms or to run concurrently. Your punishment should serve as deterrent to other youths in and out of our institution of higher learning. And that was how I missed my flight. And I got trapped here irredeemably. All I ever wanted to do was to end this miserable life of mine. Until you came with your terrible message of hope and restoration. It wasn't a terrible message of hope. But whatever. I'm not interested in it and I don't think I ever would be interested in it anyway. All right then. But why did you desire to speak with me desperately? Because you left something here the last time you came that I wanted you to have back. And what's that if I may ask? Your lies. Your magic. All those things you said to me. Those things that deceived me when I was younger. Since you said those things to me, I have not been able to think or sleep peacefully. Those things glued to my thoughts. And each time I try to sleep, I have the same nightmare. Alright, I think I understand you better now. Concerning the dreams you've been having lately, I too have been having a similar dream. So? Shewa, it only points to one direction. God still loves you dearly. And he wants to give you hope and save your soul. My soul. Hope. Oh, I was lost in the feelings of life. Never knew I was killing time. So many things that I regret now. Dear at times I relent myself. If only I could turn back the time Told myself while I was crying So many things have gone so wrong Oh It was like I've been dead before So much life came up to the Lord Never felt so loved at all Till I opened the door to my God His love isn't far it's coming your way, 
But it came my way. Oh, his love isn't far. It's coming your way. Cause it came my way. Oh, I was lost in the feelings of life I knew I was killing time There's so many things that I regret now Madam, this life is dead I still have many years to spend behind bars I, I, I doubt if I'll be able to live here alive Shewa, don't just conclude like that I don't want you to think there's no way out of this messy situation there is no way out, and I know it! Madam, it is time for you to leave. Leave me alone. There's a way out. And it is a man known as Jesus Christ. I've been cast down, broken, rejected. It looks like hope was all gone. Jesus is waiting for me. So come on to Jesus. He is waiting for me. I'll leave all behind. Cause in Him is everything. I've let go of the burden. His yoke is light and easy. He is waiting for me. So come on to Jesus. He is waiting for me. I'm leaving all behind. Cause in Him is everything. So come. 